Hey guys. Slow cooker Korean beef is tender, fall apart beef that has a perfect balance between sweet and savory. It's so easy, just toss everything in a slow cooker and let it do its job for you. Serve it over some rice and top it with some sauteed onions and you have a delicious meal your whole family will love. So let's get started. The ingredients we're going to be using today are three pounds of chuck roast trimmed and cut into cubes, half cup of soy sauce, half cup of brown sugar, four garlic cloves minced, one tablespoon of rice vinegar. You could also substitute with regular white vinegar. Two tablespoons of cornstarch and two sliced onions. Begin by mixing in a bowl soy sauce, brown sugar, rice vinegar, and minced garlic. Mix until well combined. Place beef into a slow cooker and sprinkle over some black pepper. Pour over the sauce. Give it a mix so that the beef is evenly covered. Cover and cook on high for six hours or on low for eight hours, or until beef is nice and tender. While the beef is cooking, let's get the onions going. Heat oil in a pan over medium-high heat and saute onions. Season with salt and pepper. Cook until onions have browned, stirring occasionally. This will take about 10 minutes. At first I tried this recipe with green onions, but I found that it pairs really well with sauteed yellow onions. When the beef is nice and tender, mix a couple tablespoons of water with the cornstarch to make a slurry and pour it into the slow cooker. And stir to combine. Cover and cook for another 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, the sauce should be thick and ready to eat. The meat is just falling apart. For the full written recipe, I have everything written in the description below. Okay, this part's a must. You have to serve it over some steamed rice. You can't have Asian food without rice, right? This beef is so tender, rich, and incredibly flavorful. And so easy to make. The slow cooker actually did most of the work. Gotta have some of that sauteed onions. And this is optional. If you'd like, you can top it with some sesame seeds. And that's it. Time to give it a taste. Mmm, so tasty. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell notification. Don't miss out on any of my other simple and delicious recipes. I make cooking videos weekly. Thanks for watching and see you next time.